Let's begin with a word of prayer and we'll move right along into today's lesson. We thank you, Lord, for this time we have to learn and grow. We seek to do the best we can and add to what we know. We love you, God, with all our hearts and to others' love we show. Pleasing you is our goal, not to our lesson we should go. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, welcome to Heroes Modern School Academy, boys and girls. This is Mr. Lan. I will be walking you through grade three mathematics. Grade three mathematics, and please go ahead and turn to page number 238 of your workbook over there if you've downloaded a copy of it. If not, you're welcome just to watch on the screen with me. It's going to come in front of you. And again, you can download the workbook from heroesmart.com slash store. So that's going to be heroesmart.com com slash store okay so you can do that all right so today we're going to try to review some of the concepts that we learned before about algebra okay algebra oh wow that sounds like a big word now nah, it's what you do every time you're trying to check out the grocery store well you're doing algebra over there you're trying to uh, count money how much money you have in your bank account and how much money you're going to spend to pay the 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 to pay for this and that. Well, that's algebra. So we're gonna do a quick review of what algebra is. So algebra is all about trying to have a set, of, a set of numbers and mathematical processes to the left of an equation and mathematical processes to the right of an equation. So for example, let's say 200 plus 10 is gonna be equivalent to what? Well, that's gonna be equivalent to 210 well, guess what? You just did algebra when you did this. And how does this apply to a grocery store experience, for example? Well, two bags of rice. If you were to purchase two bags of rice and one bag was like $50 for you and you purchased three bags of popcorn <laughs> and one bag was like two dollars for you and you purchased one bag of tomatoes and one bag is like maybe two dollars for you now you want to go ahead and check out all these items from the checkout of the grocery store guess what you got to know some algebra because you're going to say mm, well how much am i going to pay for all of this well i'm going to pay two times 50 right plus Three times two plus one times two is going to be equivalent to the amount of money that I'm going to pay to take all these items home with me from the grocery store. That is algebra for you. And to make it more complex, you may want to say, well, but I only have a hundred dollar bill, uh, maybe two hundred dollar bills. So I am going to be expecting some change. So you can actually say, well, this is going to be equivalent to $200 minus some kind of change that they are going to give me that I'm going to call change number C. Well, guess what? You did algebra as well. <laughs> so algebra is all over. You got to know, you got to know how to think about it and you got to apply it to different situations in life. So that's what algebra is. And I'm um, hoping you, you got something out of it. Did you get something from it? All right, bless God. All right, so thank you for joining me. So you're welcome to turn to page number 238 of your workbook over there. And you are going to see additional explanations and how to further internalize the concept of algebra. All right, so that's what I've got for you. Please go ahead and recite the morality creed when I step, when I step away from the screen. And if you haven't done so before, you haven't downloaded your workbook, you're welcome to go ahead and take a quick snapshot of the study notes and the worksheet on the board behind me, because we want you to have it regardless. So why are we talking about all this morality creed and things like that? Well, the reason we're talking about it is because we believe that knowledge should be intertwined with biblical values, or else we're going to use that knowledge for evil. 
moms and dads. That's what God talked about. God talked about that in Deuteronomy chapter, chapter, chapter 6. It says, in everything you do, make sure you talk about the laws of God. So when you're talking about mathematics, incorporate the knowledge of God into your study of mathematics, primarily because God is the author of all knowledge. And there is a reason he allows every piece of information to penetrate the world's atmosphere. There's a reason for it. God's going to be teaching you about the concept of multiplication and division, for example, so you can know how to pay your tithes properly. All the concepts of mathematics, God started it. God started ordinals. He created this on the first day, this on the second day. Well, guess what? That's ordinals for you. But when we discount God's intention behind knowledge, that we can use that, that knowledge for evil, and that's what we do not want. American Founding Fathers, they were really versed with regards to incorporating biblical values into knowledge. And that's what we are all about at Hewers Model School Academy. Hope, hopefully you guys are going to join us. Please go ahead and join us. You can sign up for free from heroesmart.com slash school or homeschool.heroesmart.com. I want to thank you for joining me all through this year. It's been a wonderful thrill for me to be your mathematics teacher for third grade, raising your little hero together with you and putting you totally, absolutely in control of that with the resources that we can offer you at the HHA. So go ahead and try to recite the morality creed when I step aside from the screen. And remember, as always, God cares about you. And so do we. Bye-bye. I believe in Jesus Christ the Messiah who died and was resurrected from the dead to save humanity from sins. He is my Lord, Master, Boss, and Savior. I love God, I love myself, and I love others with the God kind of love. I believe the Bible is inspired by the Spirit of God and is the basis for morality, rights, and wrongs I look to the Spirit of God to understand God's intent behind every letter of the Bible. I abide by this intent and I live to honor God in thought, in word, and in deed. I believe there is a heaven to gain and a hell to shun. Father, please give me grace and mercy to please you more. This is my morality creed in the name of Jesus. Amen. Your hero's body, and as you study with heroes born, I will be your friend. So don't you worry.